Greetings. One of the things I like to do is I like to play chess. I've played chess some way, somehow, since I was about 12 years old. I didn't start getting good at it till maybe 10 years ago. And actually, depending on whoever you ask, I may not even be that good now. <laughs> I'm way better than I used to be. When I really want to concentrate on a game, if there's someone sitting across from me, I win more often than not. Online is a little different, but I can find games to be able to play people. And I have found on a couple of the websites that there are certain people who, whenever I play them, I win almost all the time, which is kind of cool. It's nice having that. But what happens sometimes is you get overconfident. You see someone, you say, okay, this is someone I beat all the time. So you're not concentrating on the game. And the next thing you know, you are losing and you're not going to win. You're going to hope that they're going to make that mistake, but you're looking at the board and you're saying there's just no way they're going to end up making a mistake at this point in the game. And they almost never do. And I always want to kick myself when that happens because I realize that I have underestimated my opponent. I mean, these aren't people who are weak, at least all the time. You know, I learned a long time ago that sometimes things go in a cycle. In essence, I remember where I had two friends of mine in high school. And there were two things we played. One was chess and one was ping pong. And I always beat one guy, but I lost to this other guy who always lost to the guy that I beat. It happened in chess. I don't know what it was, but it was this cycle. And the thing is, since it was just the three of us, it was an interesting thing how we could never break that. But I never underestimated any of these people. They never underestimated me because we played a lot. But I've noticed that that happens in real life, where there are sometimes people who we meet and we underestimate them for one reason or another, and then suddenly they surprise us with something else because everyone doesn't have the same knowledge of everything that you have a knowledge of. And this is one of those important lessons to learn when you're talking about leadership. You know, sometimes you have like a pool of people and you designate in your mind, this person here is like our top performer. This person here may need some help. And everyone else is still kind of in the middle. And that may be true in general. But what you often find is that some of those middle people are actually pretty sharp at one thing that no one else can quite figure out. And if you take enough time, you start to find out that every person, or at least almost every person, I better not overstate this, but almost every person has something that they're better at than someone else. Some people are just really good at communication skills. Some people are great at research. Some people are fast as sin. I mean, they really, they can just do everything really fast. And so you have this pool of talent that if you haven't underestimated their strength and their value to the team and to the company and even to you, then you're going to succeed way more often than those people who don't take time to figure out the value of everybody. I'm just saying that it's a lesson that I have reinforced all the time when I'm playing chess <laughs> and, and someone who I always beat beats me. It should work that way for everybody. Think about it for a bit. Let me know your thoughts on that. Do you have some people who you underestimate and you haven't found out what their skill is? Or maybe someone you have underestimated and found out that they were great at something. Let me know. My name is Mitch Mitchell. I hope you all have a wonderful day.